dog. I'm recording so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, beautiful. So this is what the Vernal Equinox looks like here in Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> It is kind of cold, but it's honestly so nice out. And truthfully, right now, when everyone's trying to socially distance, this is really the best way to get out and get out of the house without actually going into public and being near people. What you guys may not know is a lot of the national parks right now are offering free entry and even some of the state parks. I believe uh, we are in Metro Detroit and a lot of the parks here are also waiving their entry fees to allow people a way to get out without actually having to be close. And I mean, truthfully, you, you see people coming from so far away that you, you can absolutely keep six feet away even in passing. A lot of the trails are so wide because they're man-made that it makes it really easy to still get out of your house. On top of that, being outside and having fresh oxygen and, um, I mean, being exposed to the sun if there was any, but we're pretty overcast. Oh, but there's a nest there. You probably can't see that. Being outside is so good for your immune system and you absolutely need it. And these motherfuckers are all the way up this hill without me. Ah! Bitches. My dog is coming to save me. <laughs> Hi, babe. Which really, she wants me to hurry the fuck up so that we just keep going. Oh, shit. <laughs> Here she comes again. Hi. Lexi turns 10 this month and she's still fucking crazy. She's been off leash since, since like pretty much forever. And quite frankly, like she runs six times what the rest of us do when we're out here. And she's still not tired. We get home and she's like, oh, hey, here, have a toy. Go get your mom. Go get her. Oh, as long as interact. Like no, interact. Hi. I'm I'm videoing you, Sit. so you're gonna be able to have some like short clips of doing this. Uh, hi. Hey. Hey. Here. Nope. Oh, spin around. Go back, my love. Sit. Good dog. So act like you're posing now. Like, well, you know, pose. Hey. Good girl. Hey. Over here. Over here. Face me. That's it. Good girl. Look up at me. Huh? Look up at me. Lexi, come here. Come here, Lexi. Come here, Lexi. Does it look dry down there to you? Ish. I didn't go that far. I don't want to get all the way down there just for a Right. Uh, people passed us in the trail and they were not at all surprised to see this Viking man clad in Icelandic sheepskin in the trail. <laughs> axes of <laughs> axes abound. <laughs> axes strapped to his hip. How do you? I love 
love you. I love you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So hey. this is what social distancing is, hey. right? Back here, my love. There's 30 feet between us. Lex. You know, waves can be exchanged with strangers. You don't have to talk. And everybody can still live life. We're out here, we're in nature, we're not in society where, you know, there's a lot of high contact doors, counters, etc. Which is why so many national parks are actually opening them up for free Which is great. to allow people to get out and still like not go stir crazy in their homes while still distancing. For sure. This pistol of a creature you see is my absolute best friend in the world. L dog. Hi, <laughs> baby. <laughs> best friend, you say? <laughs> she fucking knows. Um, she literally lives out here. This is her whole life. Pandora <laughs> would like to be. <laughs> Pandora might like to be under blankets by now. Yeah. Um, she definitely likes sleep and likes comfort, and she's kind of done with us at this point, but it's so good for her that she kind of does need to come out. She is also deaf, so no matter what we say to her, she, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't listen, and what's funny, um, and I'm going to do a video on this later on, but deaf dogs, you can teach sign language. If you tell her to do something she doesn't want to do, she'll like turn her head and pretend she did not see you sighting at her. Um, which I mean, any dog may not listen from time to time, but it's super she amusing. Advantage. What? She takes, she takes advantage and it is so funny when you see her purposely turn her head hard because she doesn't like what you're telling her. <laughs> Pure fucking Michigan. We have um, collected native turtles that have been found in people's yards and driveways and in the road. And we have actually relocated and put them back right here in this little pond. It's a really beautiful area. You can hear the spring peepers right now. This is nothing. I mean, even up by our house, it is deafening. And uh, what I actually haven't mentioned yet, this is actually, we leave our back door, we go about six feet, and then we head down a hill. And this is all right behind us. How amazing is that? Could I maybe go right here? Yeah, yeah, that's more than a favorite spot. Me too. What? This is one of our favorite spots in the entire back of the woods back here. It's just so pretty. And actually, you won't be able to see it, but we found some chicken of the woods there that was literally this big. One one giant fruit was this big. And then there were like 10 this big. We ate from a month on chicken of the woods. Amazing. Photo shoot in the woods, don't want to put your fur down on the dirty ground, put an axe in the tree. Viking style. Get okay. your mom, get your mom. <laughs> get her, okay. get her. Going right now. I just turned it on, yeah. The bloopers of a photo shoot with the puppies. <laughs> <laughs> So these vines are actually invasive and they start to kill the tree. So when we're out here and we can, we do actually cut these right off the trees to prevent them from hurting them. I will also say, even with the best intentions, you really don't want to be going and cutting vines or trees or anything like that without actually knowing what you're doing because you can also harm beneficial things. Jeez.
cut it at an angle, not direct on. Yeah. Or just give it a good pull. Are these invasive too? Yeah. Dude, by the root is way stronger. Ah, uh, it's because you don't have any resistance on the other part. I see. Just chop it on this dead tree. Well, yeah, I don't want to have to start over though. There you go. You know she's gonna die now, yeah. right? Should we take it off though? Yep. You're really getting your rocks off now, aren't you? I really am. <laughs> Also, a little side tidbit about using axes out here. Be careful. Don't get all bloody with the bacteria <laughs> and the wildlife, etc. So, just saying. Another reason, like I just said about this one, Exhibit B, don't hand people an axe with this sharp tip where it can <laughs> and make you all bloody. <laughs> I'm, <so laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, Kamikaze. So this is one of the oldest trees in this forest here definitely one of the biggest and we call it coyote oak because well obviously it's an oak tree but as you look up the um the faces here totally look like coyote heads We actually do have coyotes back here. We hear them yodeling all the time. Be careful with children and, and small dogs, I guess. Yes. Stay safe. Stay safe, because coyotes are no joke. So while this tree looks really interesting, this is actually like a disease or something wrong with it to it make it grow that way. coronavirus. Funny. <laughs> So yeah, there's something wrong with it. When you see trees like this, it's not just like a weird tree. It's absolutely disease or sometimes even like a fungus that causes this kind of thing. So the green man is essentially an entity that is the embodiment of nature. He is the, um, essentially the male counterpart of all of nature. A lot of times in art, he's depicted as being made up of trees and leaves and vines and stuff like this. And we found this probably, probably right after we moved in about five years ago. And quite frankly, to me, it looks like a green man face with like an older bearded man. Uh, it is definitely actually a disease tree again, but tell me if you see the face, maybe we're crazy. I'd love to know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little part of the world as much as we do. Uh, if you like content like this, I'd love to hear from you. Tell me if you like it. I could do a whole lot like this, being as that our house is like 30 paces that way. Um, tell me how you feel about it, because I love it out here. Bye. Have a great night and happy spring, guys. Skull. And as we were doing my outro, Pandora ran off, <laughs> which is really funny. Normally she's done at this point in time and uh, she is apparently not. She's ready to roll. Come here.
Lex.